What's going on my Spartan programmers? It's Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. And today what we're going to be talking about is implementing sounds into our game. So sound effects, explosions, background music, we can all incorporate this using audio groups into our game. So Game Maker Studio 2 has a really nice audio engine and it's got a lot of perks and I'm going to show you how to use those perks to your advantage when implementing these sounds. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an object. And I'm going to name this object O sound and go into my room here and let's just pop that right into the room. So essentially what I'm doing here is creating an object that's going to control all of our sounds in our game. And I recommend that you do the same. So I know that you're going to have specific objects that are going to maybe shoot a gun and you're going to go into that code, maybe the player code and play the audio. But with our object sound here, it's going to load up all of our initial audio groups. And it's also going to be a controller, say, in the settings, if you want to lower uh, your sound effects or if you want to turn off the background music, this is the object that's going to control that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the sounds tab here. I'm going to right click and create a new sound. I'm going to name it explode. All right. And here we have the music board for Game Maker Studio. I'm going to go ahead and load that up here. Explosion one. And let's play it. All right, so cool little explosion sound effect. And uh, essentially what we have here is a pretty simple system. So Game Maker Studio 2 can be as simple as you want it or as complex as you want it, going into the sound mixer, doing all that sort of stuff. I think we're gonna be in between on that. We're not gonna get into emitters or anything. If you'd like a tutorial on emitters, I'll definitely do that in the future. But this is pretty much the bare bones of what you need here. We have our sound effect loaded. In our soundboard here we have a volume tab so we can control the volume maybe it's a little bit too loud a little too low we can hit play we can loop through um, the sound so we don't have to keep hitting play and then if it's a long track or something we can rewind it to the start all right so here we have our attributes for our sound and it's good to know that game maker studio 2 as far as i know only accepts three sound files and that's dot ogg dot wave and dot mp3 and essentially what we're doing here with this attributes is you see we have compressed, uncompressed, stream, not stream, what do I do in certain cases? The file that I loaded was an MP3 file. Now what we have selected here is uncompressed, not stream. So in other words, it's just being locked into the memory there and we're just accessing it. But Game Maker Studio 2 likes OGG files. And every time you compress, let's say a wave mp3 or even another ogg file what it's doing is it's converting it to a .ogg file i'm going to go ahead and hit compressed not stream that's what i would recommend for an mp3 file now if you have a wave file on the other hand what you can do is do uncompressed and that's mainly for sound effects and i wouldn't recommend a wave file for your background music the reason we're doing uncompressed with a wave file is because wave files are very very small files and you can just load that up and play it real quick only with a WAV file though. Now you can go ahead and do compress for the MP3 file and even an OGG file I would compress it as well. Now there could be some back and forth on what's right and what's wrong in different circumstances but at the end of the day unless your game is using so much memory and has so much stuff going on this isn't going to matter as much. I'll leave a link in the description so you can read more into these attributes. The documentation is really helpful with this. Alright so now we have our exploding sound effect. It's now in our game. And what we want to do is create audio groups for it. So by default, Game Maker Studio has a default audio group that's loaded by default when you run the game, it's loaded up. What we're going to do is create two new audio groups, one for sound effects and one for background music. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we can control each audio group, their volume limit, uh, whether they're playing, whether they're not. Let's say you have a settings menu or something like that. You can go into the settings lower the volume, turn off sound effects, etc. This is much more efficient than let's say you want to turn off sound effects so you have to go into each individual sound effect and make sure that the volume is zero. Here we can just simply say this group of sound effects is going to be cut off. So I'm going to go to tools, hit audio groups, and we, here we have the audio group. So in our audio group default we have our explode sound effect. What I'm going to do is add new and I'm going to name this sound effects. I'm going to add another one as well. I'm going to call it background music. 
So now we have three audio groups in our game. I'm gonna to go to sound effects here and I'm gonna add a resource, our explode sound effect. So now our explosion sound effect is part of our sound effects audio group. And if you go up here, you can even see the audio group it is now switched to sound effects. All right, so let's create another sound effect. I'm gonna name it explode two, we'll say. And here's that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the sound effects audio group. Now, if we go to the sound mixer, as you can see, and we uh, select sound effects, now we have a very useful program to where we can listen to each sound. All right, we can listen to each sound and we can play with the volume limits to see, okay, are all of my sound effects congruent? Do they all sound the right pitch? Are they all where they need to be? All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is compressed and not streamed. All right, so now we have our two sound effects in the game. If we go to the create event, we now need to load up the audio group that we just created, which is the sound effects. So I'm gonna simply do audio underscore group underscore load sound effects. I'm gonna copy this. And let's load up the background music as well. So if I run the game, As you can see down below, it says audio group one loaded. The reason it's not loading our audio group two is because there are no sound effects associated with background music audio group. So there's nothing to load, but it did load up our audio group one and now everything is ready to be used. So if we say audio underscore play sound and we do the sound ID of explode, priority is going to be one and our loop is gonna be false. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what we're doing here is we're playing the audio explode. We're setting the priority to one. Now, basically the priority is, here's the best way to explain priority and it doesn't really matter in much cases what the priority is. Game Maker has a limit of 128 sounds being played at the same time. Now this can be changed through a built-in function, but essentially if it ever gets to the point where there are more than 128 sound effects playing at the same time, it's going to start cutting off or stopping audios with lower priority. So this, this number can be one, it can be 100, it can be uh, 10,000, it can be anything. But the lower the priority, if you reach that cap of 128, it's gonna cut the audio that has a priority of one before it cuts the audio that has a priority of 10,000. And I'm setting it to false so that we don't keep hearing the same noise over and over again. So we run into an interesting issue with this though. So if I go ahead and run the game, as you can see, our audio group one is loaded, but we're not hearing any sounds. Why is that? Well, essentially what we're doing here in the create event is we're loading up the sound effects, but it's not actually loaded yet. We're just saying, hey, we want you to load this. It doesn't automatically instantly get loaded. So by the time it starts up that process, this code is already ran. So how can we actually play this sound right after our audio gets loaded? And that's what the asynchronous save slash load event is for. And I believe GameMaker 1.4 also has this function, so you can use that as well if you're following along. Now, what this does is when we load up these audio groups, after this has been successfully loaded, Game Maker automatically calls this event. Okay, so once it's loaded, we're gonna play the sound. So let's go and run the game and see. And there you go, we get the sound effect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another sound and I'm gonna name it music. I'm gonna put it to our background music and I'm gonna make sure it's compressed. And here I'm gonna copy this. Music, true, and let's set that priority to say 10 because we don't want our background music going out. And let's just make a keyboard press space to so we can play our audio whenever we want. 
So what we're doing here is we're loading up our background and sound effects. Once it's loaded, we're going to start up our background music. And then when we hit space, we can hear the awesome exploding sound effect. And let's make sure I actually load in that audio file. So let's go ahead and take a listen. All right, now the reason we're using these different audio groups, like I said in the beginning of the video, is that we can easily now just cut out completely if we don't want sound effects anymore in our game. So when our save slash load, what we can say is after it's been loaded, audio underscore group, set gain, and here we can say the group ID of sound effects. We can set the volume from either zero to one, one being the highest, so let's let's set it to zero and now the time it takes to go from one to zero in milliseconds so if we just say one millisecond it's pretty much just going to stop all the sound effects completely so if i run the game now all of my sound effects will not have any volume and will not be there okay go leave a like go and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video go to codymadesimple.com you can learn more about programming and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace